Hello and welcome to Bella's Crafty Cards. I'm Bella and today I'm going to show you how I made this card from a fantastic website called paperprintables.com and it's all free. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing you're going to need is some cardstock, colour of your choice. You're going to square it on your eight fold, half fold. Okay. Turn it over. And increase it. Okay. Okay, then you need to get some ink. Once you've done that, you need to lay that to one side. So what you need to do is when you go to the website, you will have loads to choose from, believe me. Okay? Now, this is just going to be for a quick last-minute card. Okay? These are the pre-printed cards. So all you do is you cut it out and put it all together. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Okay. Once you've got them all cut out, this is what they're going to look like, okay? Now, I like to be what you would call a canny crafter, okay? Now, really, they should all go onto there and you have them wherever you want. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using one of the toppers and only one of the greetings on the outside of my card. So I'm going to lay these to one side. I won't be needed then. Okay. On my original, I'll bring it back in to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but I actually put just some peel-offs just around my card, about two millimeters in from the top sheet. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Okay, once you've got all your peel-offs put on, wherever you would like them, you're now going to take a piece of ribbon. Okay, now I'm not going to tie a knot, and I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to use some embroidery thread. I'm going to use one strand. Okay, and what you're going to do is roughly the middle of the ribbon, you're going to place your embroidery thread underneath it and then tie the thread into a knot, like so. Okay. And then you're just going to trim off the ends of your thread, like so. That gives it the illusion of it being in a knot without being in a, being in a knot. Okay, now we've got our ribbon. We're going to place it onto our card, position it, and turn it over. Then get some tape. You're going to stick down this ribbon. Just check the positioning. Okay, so 
So there we have our card with all our peel-offs on and our ribbon attached to it. We're now going to attach this to our piece of cardstock that we inked our edges with. Okay, so you're going to get your double. Okay, now, I like to give some tips that I've learned over, over the time of me being a crafter. Okay. Now, one of my tips is when you're using double-sided tape, it's really hard to get the backing off. Okay. What I tend to do is I use my craft knife and I just stab my craft knife very lightly into the top layer of the paper and it comes off. Okay, so again, you're going to stab it into the top layer and it lifts off. Now, when you're doing your edges, I only take them down a little bit and just put a little mark, a little crease on it. Then I go to the opposite end and do the same. So you're going to stab it in, lift it back and just fold back your paper. Okay, I'm going to explain why. Okay, you're going to bring in your cardstock, and you're going to line it up. Once you've lined it up, you can then hold the card in place, remove that and stick it down. It makes it a lot easier to stick down a backing paper than having all the tape and then you're trying to rip it off and rip it back on. Okay, so there we have virtually our card finished. Okay, we're just going to stick on our elements now to get our foam, our foam pads. Okay, once you've taken your foam pads and attached them to the back of your element, you're then going to line up your element where it goes on your card, like so. And then with the sentiment, I'm just going to place mine just at the bottom of my card. And there we have it. There's our card finished. Okay. Before we actually go though, remember this greeting that we have. We have two greetings on the front of our sheet. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make an insert for my card. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that to one side. I've got some yellow paper here, very nice and bright, which will go very well with my flower design. And I'm just going to fold it in half. And score. There we go. Okay. Now I have a border punch, and all I'm going to do is at one end, it's going to start. Okay. There I have now my border cut out of my paper using my Fiskars punch. Okay. Now it needs to be smaller than the length of your card. So you need to trim a little bit off this end. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, there I have it. I've now done that. Okay, once you've done that, you need some thin double-sided tape, or you can use your tape runner. And you're just going to put it on the seam end your insert. Okay, again, use your craft knife. Bring your card forward. You're going to open your card and you're going to line your insert up and then just fold your card over, pressing on the end. Turn it over and again, use your craft knife and close your card. And there we have now our card with our insert. Okay. Now I said I was going to use this greeting. So I'm just going to some adhesive on the back. And I'm just going to line that up in the centre of my card. 
and there we have it. There's your card and your insert made from your papers that you've got free from paperprinting.com. Okay, thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.